All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakakodash, the bonus to my apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation, all the brothers that's doing this work in truth and sincerity. Shalom. This is Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 8. It says, Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, said Yahweh. Then Yahweh put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And Yahweh said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. Verse 10 is the point. It says, See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. You know, because this is the job of a prophet. You know, it's the um, it's in the application of a prophet, you know, because way back in the law, the Lord told us that, you know, he wouldn't speak to us directly. He would raise up a prophet. And he will make himself known to him. This is Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 15. It says, Yahweh thy God. Well, actually, I'm going to start at verse. Verse 13, it says, Thou shalt be perfect with Yahweh thy God. That's another reason why we got to get out of these bodies. Because it's a part of the law that we be perfect, you know. But that's that's another lesson for another time. Okay, I just wanted to point that out real quick. Um, verse 15, Yahweh thy God will raise up unto thee a prophet from the midst of thee. That means out of the nation of Israel, of thy brethren, out of the nation of Israel, like unto me. This is uh, a... Um, um, Salaki is escaping me. Uh, Masha. Moses speaking, he says unto him, ye shall hearken according to all that thou desirest of Yahweh thy God in Horeb in the day of the assembly, saying, let me not hear again the voice of Yahweh thy my God, neither let me see this great fire any more, that I met, that I died not. And Yahweh said unto me, they, they have well spoken that which they have spoken. I will raise them up. A prophet from among their brethren like unto thee and will put my words in his mouth and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him and it shall come to pass that whosoever will not hearken unto my words which he speak in my name I will require it of him but the prophet which shall pre presume to speak a word in my name which I have not commanded him to speak or that shall speak in the name of other gods, even the even that prophet shall die. And there's a lot of prophets that do that, and they're gonna die, you know. And it, and if thou say in thine heart, how, how shall we know the word which Yahweh has spoken when a prophet speaketh in the name of Yahweh, if that thing follow not nor come to pass, that is the, that is the thing which Yahweh has not spoken, but the prophet. But the prophet has spoken in presumpt presumptuously, thou shalt not be afraid of him. So as you can see, the duty of a prophet, you know how the Lord set it up that way, you know, because this is in the law. This is Deuteronomy. This is Deuteronomy, man. This is a part of the law. So it's a part of the law that the Lord is going to raise up a prophet from the midst of, of the nation of Israel to to speak unto the uh, to the children of Israel, you know, because like the Lord said, they didn't want to hear the voice of Yahweh. So he rose up. He made, you know, he rose up prophets, you know, and prophets do do exactly what the Lord said. They speak his words, you know. And the prophets back in the old days got their, got their respect. Because being a prophet is a heavy job. <sighs> because um, in the book of Samuel...
when uh, Samuel came onto the scene, because he was a prophet, when he came onto the scene, when you see a prophet, by the way, when they seen the prophets back then, it wasn't a good, if you see a prophet, it wasn't a, uh, it, it wasn't going to be good, you know, it wasn't going to be good news if you seen the prophet, because nine times out of ten, if you see a prophet, the Lord has spoken something against that country or that, that city. This is 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 1. And Yahweh said unto Samuel, How long wilt thou mourn for Saul? Seeing. It's like, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It says, How long wilt thou mourn for Saul, seeing I have rejected him from reigning over Israel? Fill, fill thine horn with oil and go. I will send thee to Je Jesse the Bethlehemite, for I have provided me a king among his sons. And Samuel said, how can I go if Saul hear it? He will kill me. And Yahweh said, Take an heifer with thee, and say, I have come to sacrifice to Yahweh. And come and call Jesse to the sacrifice, and I will shew thee what thou, thou shalt do. And thou shalt anoint unto him, me him who I, whom I name unto thee. And Samuel did that which Yahweh spake, and came to Bethlehem. Now Samuel is a prophet. Now watch what they say. And the elders of the town trembled at his coming and said, Comest thou peaceably? <laughs> I love bringing out this account, man. Because the prophets, they got their respect back then, man. You know? And this, in these days, man, the prophets, you know, are looked at like a bunch of fools, man. You know? Out there speaking the word of Yahweh Bashmi al telling the warning our people what's going to go down. And people not taking heed to the warning that Yahweh by Shmuel Shah is giving them, were well, ultimately given to his elect because not a lot of you people gonna die. But you know, the Lord wants who He wants, and He gonna get who He wants, His elect, and the rest of you gonna be fucking killed. Verse five it says, He said, peaceably, I am come to sacrifice unto Yahweh. Sanctify yourselves and come with me to the sacrifice. And he sanctified Jesse and his sons and called them to the sacrifice. So that's all I wanted to get on there. Because the prophets, they um, they got their respect back then. And also you have our people who uh, killed the prophets. Jerusalem, you know, our people killed the prophets. Matthew 23 and 37 Because Yahweh Shah was the ultimate prophet You know It says O Jerusalem Jerusalem Thou that killest the prophets and stonest That them which are sent unto thee How often would I have gathered Thy children, to, children together Even as a hen gathereth her chickens Under her wings And he would not You know because our people are fucking rebellious because the prophets were killed because they were telling the words of Yahweh by Shemel Shah. You know? And Yahweh Shah was the ultimate prophet. He All he did was prophesy when he was on the scene. He prophesied about many things. He prophesied, he prophesied about his death. Now let's get what a prophet is real quick. Yeah, I don't think I'm dictionary. It says a person who speaks for God, one who foretells, inspired preacher. A, uh, I ain't gonna say suits here. No, hell no. An interpreter, a spokesman, you know, a messenger, basically, especially of God's. A teacher. To speak, to to speak, tell, say. So the prophets are the spokesman or representative of Yah or messenger of Yahweh Bashem al Shai. And what our people do, they 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 kill the messenger. You know? You ever heard that heard that saying, don't shoot the messenger? 
That's what that's what our people do. They shoot the messenger, man. We just telling you the message. You know, we don't give a damn if you don't like it. Because the scripture says if you despise these words, you'll be fucking destroyed. You know? Proverbs chapter 13, verse 13. Whoso despises the word shall be destroyed, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. So if you despise these words that the prophets are bringing, you, you, you're going to be fucking killed, man. You know? And that's what we are, an ambassador. We're ambassadors for Yahweh Bashem El Shah. You know? This is the ultimate job. The job of a prophet. Speaking the words of Yahweh Bashem El Shah, which is our duty, man. And we love doing it. I think I spelled that right. Okay, ambassador, a uh, uh, diplomatic accessionary of a ruler in a country of another, <laughs> a servant of a saw, a messenger, a servant. So we are messengers for the Habashmiel Shah. And that's a uh, reasonable service. So. <clears throat> oh, Jeremiah twenty eight and twenty eight. Jeremiah 28, the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. And, that, and we're doing the same thing today. We're talking about the wars. Which war? What's the war? World War Three. What's the evil? Jacob's trouble. And uh, the FEMA camps that are already here in America and uh, are order out of chaos what Esau is devising and his uh his plans and this is of pestilence which we already know it's a lot of us uh, gonna be an outbreak out here some you know some Esau gonna come up with something because you got the CDC the headquarters of the CDC is right here in the state of Georgia in Atlanta Georgia to be exact so you know they're gonna hit Atlanta with something you know some type of pestilence verse 9 it says the pro the prophet which prophesied of peace when the word of that prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that Yahweh has truly sent him. And the Yahweh has not truly sent the majority of these prophets out here. You know, all these people that prophesy of all of these other things that's supposed to happen. They're not talking about what the scriptures really is talking about, man. Which is um, the, the evil days, the bad times that are coming to America and all around the world. In the RFID chip, RFID microchip, which is the new currency that these Edomites, these devils are going to try to set up and put it in your flesh, man. You know? That's what these devils plan to do. Try to have the ultimate form of slavery. Controlling you through that chip. Because if you get, you take that chip, they got fully control of you, man. You basically sold out. That's the ultimate way of selling out that RFID microchip. That's a part of their plan. They're going to create chaos and create order, man. They, which they the ones that create the damn chaos. You know, they call it problem, reaction, solution. They create a problem. to see people's reaction. And they already have the solution waiting for you, man. And a lot of people are going to fall victim to that. Why? Because they didn't hearken to Yahweh Bashem Al Shah. Because guess what? If the if you would hearken to Yahweh Bashem Al Shah, he would have he would have let you, he would have shined that his light upon you. You know, he would have took you out of that darkness. He would have took you out of deception, out of the deception that is the here in the matrix. He would have took you out of the matrix because the scripture says the deceived and the deceiver are his.
tricky word right now. This is Job 12 and 16. It says, with him is strength and wisdom. The deceived and the deceiver are his. So the, if, the, if you get deceived by Esau, the Lord did that to you. Because he's 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 the Lord, man. You know, he does everything. His his uncorrupt hey, the scripture says it's incorruptible spirit is in Wisdom of Solomon chapter 12 verse 1 It says for thine Incorruptible spirit is in all Things therefore chastenest Thou them by little and Little that offend and warnest them By putting them in remembrance wherein they Have offended that Leaving their leaving their wickedness They may believe on thee O Lord Because The Lord is in everything He's the one that chastens us You know He's in everything, right? For thine incorruptible spirit is in all things. You know? The Lord is in everything. He's in everything, man. Because this is his this this is his um his show, man. So if anything happened to you, the Lord did it. If you're gonna be delivered up to the prison, guess what? The Lord the Lord is with you. And the Lord did it ultimately, man. You know, anything that happens, man, the Lord is, he's, he's in, he's in the midst, man, for dying in corruptible spirit is in all things, man. Because the Lord is in control of every situation. And Yahweh Shah knew this. He knew this. He knew Yahweh was in control of every, of everything. The Lord is in control of everything. You know, I got to come back and read this chapter, but, um, so we ain't got nothing to worry about, man. You know, the Lord is the Lord is in is it is the author and control of this, man. This is his this is his play. This is his role, his book, man. You know. So I hope you brothers just edify this lesson real quick. Through the spirit of inspiration of Yahweh Shemel Shah, I want to say call Hallah Yahweh Shemel Shah, Thawadi Yahweh Shemel Shah, forgive me the spirit of this video. Say uh, Shalom.